Okay, today we're just going to show you how to do some uh, of the gluing. Um, we've already put some hot glue along these three places. Um, I think that we'll put it along sort of four places. So you just, you don't want this sort of movement, but you don't want to be weighing it down with too much glue. So what we've done is we've just got a hot glue gun. Um, we've got it on a low setting, and I've just got a scrap bit of Depron that I'm testing it on. Um, sometimes where it was a bit hot, it's melted the Depron. Um, and sort of eating it away. So just get a scrap piece to test the hot glue on. And we've also made up these little applicators um, just by cutting a little corner off of a, a scrap piece of Depron and just been using that to sort of um, smear it along and make sure the glue is in contact with both surfaces. So just with a glue gun, put a little bead about maybe 80, 100 meters long. And then either with a second pair of hands or yourself with the applicator, just get that and smear it along, making sure that it doesn't move too much. So every so often you just want to sight down along the plane and make sure you haven't moved it out of line. And we'll just do one more on the other side. If you wanted to, you could do a bead the whole way along. It's probably not necessary. It's probably just adding to more weight. But whatever you decide to do, you just want to make sure it's even so that when you're flying it, the weight's distributed evenly. Alright, now we're just going to put a bit of glue uh, along um, this joint of the, the wing to the body and also a little bit on the underside. We'll do the top side first. It's just going to be important that you've centred the wings first because at the moment they can move around a little bit. So you want to make sure that this gap here is even on both sides. And with the servo holes, if you've cut them accurately, um, they should be even as well. So. I think I'd be happy with how that's looking at the moment. Oops. And then with my glue gun again, just uh, the bead along here. And maybe smear that out with that applicator. And this glue is taking quite a, giving us a fair bit of time to dry. So just make sure you don't move it between when you glue it and um, before it dries. Same thing on the other side. and we'll carefully flip it over making sure that it's still even and a bead along both sides at the front and either side of the back as well. And inevitably you're going to be left with a lot of little 
glue strings hanging around that you're going to have to fix up before you go out flying. And finally, let's just check that that's still central. My two servo holes and down this line here on either side, uh, which it is. So, happy with that. Um, next thing we'll do is start attaching some control horns. Okay, here we've got a little motor mount. Now this one's been milled on a Roland MDX40. Um, just a little desktop milling machine. Um, if you don't have access to a milling machine, obviously it's not too technical. You could print out the drawings that are on the CD, uh, put the, a, bit of, a bit of paper over some ply and uh, cut and drill that shape out. Now if you didn't have a, a mill and didn't want to do it by hand, one of the MakerBot extrusion um, 3D printers could also do the job and we printed one out the other day and it looked quite strong. So anything that's about three to five mil thick and that's just going to sit straight in here then we're going to glue it in. So there you go. All the way up into the back there so that it's nice and secure. And I'll just get my hot glue gun. And I don't need too much, but I might just put a little bit in each corner to hold it on. And just in front of each of these sides so it doesn't just pop off the front, I think. And same thing at the back. And you just want to make sure that Looking across it, it's uh, 90 degrees to the centre line of your plane. Um, you could have a little bit of a down angle on it, but we don't have it set up to do so. Um, and the plane should fly fine without that angle. So, Eight little dobs plus the four corners at the back and uh, that motor mount's going to be fairly secure there.